I grew up in Trinidad and I wasn't allowed to hang out with the boys, the older guys, when because they grew up like a lot of, around a lot of DJs. I didn't start until I joined the military in 2002 and my first base was in South Dakota, Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. There wasn't really much out there to do, so I was like, oh, let me just pursue DJing because I always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And I received a uh, Stanton starter pack, which came with like turntables, a little mixer, headphones, like the whole shebang. And I had to order some vinyl off the internet, had it shipped to South Dakota. And yeah, that's how I started DJing in my dorm room. In the Brooklyn community and other places, I'm known as DJ Mercy Lane. I spend my days looking for lots of music um, so I can make people dance at night or <laughs> else they'll probably cut me out. <laughs> now, I've been doing this for about 11 years and for some gigs I still get nervous, but once I get up there and put the music on and I feel the energy from the, from, the, you know, from the people and it just makes everything go away, all the nerves, mm -hmm. and I just have a good time, you know? <laughs> So I, my connection to Brooklyn, I think um, that's where I have most of my roots, um, mm -hmm. especially with Legion. And a lot of the people that hire me are for, for queer parties. Yep. Um, not saying all of them are, but most of them. I've DJed Azucar before. I've DJed um, Poppy Juice recently. Um, Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. It's very queer friendly um, venue. I love, love that space so much. Reggae is a queer dancehall party, which is also one of my favorite parties to do. Mm -hmm. I'm from the Caribbean, so I love dancehall, reggae, soca music, but I feel like every time I go to, to parties that cater to that, that audience, it's mostly straight. I don't feel comfortable, honestly, right. um, especially with, with some of the guys there. Some of them are respectful, but some of them aren't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's important to have a party like reggae, which I feel comfortable at, and other people who are like me. Feel free to, to dance with who they want to yeah. and just enjoy the music without being harassed. I just started a new venture, which is a DJ magazine, which caters to women DJs and musicians and beat makers or producers, just to shine a light on them. Because what I've noticed is a lot of the DJs that are put into magazines, they're on like the top, top 100 lists, um, especially in EDM music, they are men, you know, with a sprinkle of, of women. I also noticed, noticed too, like if the female DJs are recognized, they're mostly white women. Mm -hmm. You know, so I definitely wanted to, to recognize a lot of the ladies that I know and people who I don't know of um, worldwide. DJ Reborn, I really, really admire her. DJ Valentine, Amber Valentine, Sassy Black, Stassi Boss, like they're my all time favorites to DJ with mm -hmm. as well. You know, we definitely have a good time together. And you know, amongst other, other women. One of the main challenges I think for us is um, we're raising two boys. Yeah. So we have to make sure that they have everything that they need as well as what we need. Right. But you know, they're, they are our priority. How would you, you feel know? if our kids became DJs? I would love it. Me too. Which means I can quit and they can go to parties with me. You know? Yeah.